by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for The Crew 2, the beta version which is available from the 21st to the 23rd, I think. It was like Friday to Monday. Um, but I've been playing it, I mean, I haven't, I don't think I played The Crew 1. I couldn't be bothered with that. I, I didn't think it was my type of game. There was better games out at the time. Um but I've had a little chance to play this, I've had a couple hours of playing it and uh, at first I didn't really understand how it worked and it was getting a bit like confusing and I just thought this is shit this because it didn't explain basically what you needed to do correctly or I was skipping things and I just, I must have missed it so I didn't really know what to do. But um, it put us off a little bit but I persevered and I've stuck with it and I quite like it now. Um, there's loads of different race types. There's a like few different disciplines. The one, like the ones I've sussed out from just playing a couple hours only. Anyway, there's probably more, but I don't really know about them yet. I know there's hovercrafts and shit like that, um, but I haven't come across them yet. But there's planes, boats. There's like street races. There's rally raids. There's motocross. There's like monster trucks. There's um, planes. Um, boats like I say this like speed boats and <clears throat> it's weird because you get the full um, you get quite a lot of cars to choose from as you can see you do get like this in the top left this is the rally raid section so you do get quite a lot of cars uh, to pick from there's loads of different varieties um, I quite like the touring cars and uh, shit like that. Uh, these, the rally raid ones, they're quite good as well. But you see what I mean? You go back to, because I'll show you the map in a minute. You go back to the uh, the HQ, because each discipline's got a HQ. Like the drifting, um, drifting's class, by the way, really is good. Uh, the drifting, the rally raids, the street racing and shit like that. They've all got like a HQ for the different disciplines. So you go back there and that's where you can buy different vehicles. You can... Um, buy parts you get um, stuff sent to your mailbox so you can uh, op remember to keep checking that because you get like parts sent to you for winning races um, and like there's loads of different there's motorbikes there's just loads of different things buggies all sorts so it's good in that respect um, there's lots of different cars to pick from um, different disciplines to choose and like obviously master like as you can see the controls not the best um, you know like if you're comparing it to something like Grand Theft or something like that um, where the see I was trying to just suss out how to see if I could pull like a long wheelie um, but it's like one of those games where you need to just get used to the the weird handles because when you're flying at top speed um, and you're flying, th it's alright on open road like this, but when you're flying through the desert, uh, through the city, um, and there's lampposts, everything's destructible, like all the outside of the road, bus stops, lampposts, signposts, everything, that's all destructible. Um, so you can fly around the corner and wipe loads of shit out and it doesn't really matter, but you, you're travelling quite fast, it's like Need for Speed in that uh, sense, where you're flying really fast through the, the tunnels and stuff, and you know, it's quite, it's not as easy as it looks. It is quite forgiving though, um, you can be flying at 150 and put your handbrake on and you're not going to ridiculously spin out of control. Um, this is like a rally, uh, rally dash or rally raid thing. This is where, it's a bit like Forza Horizon, my friend said, because I've never played but he was saying it's a bit like that where you're just left on an open world you've literally got the whole of America to explore um, and you're on a massive open world and it'll just give you like see how it says the checkpoint or the finish is that orange dot in the distance and you've just got to make your own way there um, avoiding like buildings and structures and bridges and rivers and stuff but you obviously you're in a souped up car the, the more you win the more parts you can get to unlock um, and just see how the time underneath my name there it's like 49 seconds down I mean that's horrendous that but I was just getting used to it I was fucking about wasn't really racing um, but when you do it again you'll get the ghost car at the start and that's the objective 
and that's like the time that's going to be set by the computer so you as long as you finish before that ghost car then you'll unlock prizes and stuff at the end and they're just like parcels that you pick up off the floor um and then it goes in you can press start at any time and you can add the modifications or take them off or whatever at any time and um, you press your touchpad to get into your map um, the damage is shit. There is no damage as per se. Like <clears throat> some of the bumpers get like scuff marks and stuff on them, but head-on, full-on crashes like that doesn't do anything to your car. Just stops you and slows you down. And see, once you finish the event, you're just left in that um, in the free mode still. It doesn't like go back to a menu screen and load in or anything like that. The loading in times are very small, and uh, that's another good thing that's about it. Um, there's not massive uh, loading in screens, and it says they're returning to free drive. So you've got a little loading in screen like this, and then you're just back on the map, and then you can either choose to drive. Oh, this is photograph mode, um, but you can choose to drive to where you need to be. Even if you want to go to say San Francisco, and you might be in New York, you can physically drive all the way across from east to west kind of thing or you can fast travel there um i was just fast traveling at first because i wanted to just like get things ticked off um, and just get like some progression so i just fast traveled but you've got the option to drive there if you want which is good um and it, it's good in a sense where if you've played grand theft if you're a big fan of grand theft you'll sort of know the layout of the grand theft city which is basically just los angeles but when you go to Los Angeles on this, it's like you're playing Grand Theft. Like the layout of the city is so familiar. But those pink, that pink line is just what I've just raced there. Um, so it shows you where you've been riding around, um, like a little GPS kind of thing, which is good. And you see everything that's flashing, they're the HQs. So you can travel to the different HQs and then any time you get some new activities they'll appear on the map and they'll flash. So you can just head straight there. Look, see, this is in New York now. Um, so, But what I didn't realise is that you have to drive inside and um, once you've drove inside then it'll change your car to the appropriate car. So even if you're in the wrong car like that or if you're in a, even if you're in a plane um, you can still like just drive into that garage and then you'll like vanish in a puff of smoke and then you'll turn into the next car that you need to be because you get given free cars for winning activities and stuff and you get uh, cars to use um, and then once you've earned a bit of money you can actually go out and buy some cars yourself um, but there's a little tutorial on every activity like this once you've got a little activity you've got to do little stuff like this and you see how you earn points by doing drifts um, donuts jumps any kind of stunt trick um you get like pit rp and stuff at the top and that pink bar at the top that's like how popular you are and when you start filling that up over the time like this is just for the racing so it's just on points there's 1780 out of the 3000 whatever but it's the same it's the same style when you're back on the free mode it has like rookie popular famous you know and you go through like the different ranks and you have to get um popularity how many followers you have on social media um media and then you have how many um credits you've got and then you've got like another style of credits so there's like two types of currency and then you've got your popularity points um for when you're on your social media but all you have to do is just win races and stuff like that and you get more um popular but it's quite good because I was looking in the customization before um, and you can actually download people's um, homemade liveries. So it's like there's a big community out there, obviously, um, and they've created loads of custom liveries. The like monster ones, there's like proper rally ones. There's ones that say like, fuck you and stuff like that. You know, like there's all different types um it's like if you've ever been on the wrestling creation the like um the community of that kind of um uh, imagination of what people can do so there's some good ones there which is good because obviously you can do your own liveries and stuff which is a really good bonus um but you've got to just keep going around the map you you unlock different things see so it comes up here like a new discipline's been unlocked and i've unlocked that jet sprint as well um now 
because you've got to become popular but then you're left in the the free mode just to walk around you can buy a your free vehicle because you'll get given like say that first one's for free but then you've got all the others to go through you can change the liveries you can soup them up um like tune them and stuff stick um different uh, engines in and the map so the customization is quite good you've got a massive free roan of america so the map's huge um you know what i mean you get to do different vehicles monster trucks um boats planes motorbikes cars you get really fast formula and uh, i don't think you do formula one. Oh, you do actually you do formula one and um, you know so there's a whole range of different cars all different types it's not all just fucking you know like shitty off-roading and like buggies and jeeps and stuff there is some proper really good cars like um <clears throat> lamborghinis ferrari f40s like the list of cars is really impressive actually if you come to think of it for all the different disciplines all the different uh, vehicle types as well you don't just get one or two you get about 12 to 20 vehicles per um and they're all different as well that's what's good about it they're all exactly different so it's it's good i can see the multiplayer aspect of it it's heavily based on the multiplayer where you and your friends can make a party and you can just be the only people on the map or you can have it where it's grand theft and like everybody's on the map at the same time but you're all like in passive mode so nobody can like smash into each other but you can still see them um and like i say the graphics are really good if you've played grand theft a lot then you'll you'll be familiar with uh, los angeles but apart from that you've got new york and everything and uh, new orleans and the bayous and everything you can think of in america that's there so definitely play it because i think it's only on until monday so definitely play it because it's worth it so that's it really see you later you are a smelly pirate hooker <laughs>